Dear Diary, The battle from that night was far from over. We saw something new, something very unusual, and something annoyingly resistant to damage. Three of the teams took shots at it. One hit, two missed, and it just sort of sat there, smack bang in the middle of the squad. We know now it was a cyber disc, but at the time it was known as what the hell is that thing? Timmermans managed to do some quite major damage to it with his sniper rifle, but the thing was still there floating in the sky. Even more annoyingly, as Monos moved forward to try to take a shot, some more thin men spotted us. I was thinking that we had to deal with this thing, and fast. Morozov took another shot and did some more damage as well. It looked like it was weakening, but it was still hovering there. It was an impressive enemy, and my thoughts at the time were, imagine what we could do if we could put our squad in armour like that. Monos fired a burst, which thankfully hit it, causing it to fall, exploding dangerously close to him. He was fine, and the aliens ended up opening the door for us with that explosion, which was nice of them. Zhang opened the door on the other side to try to get a glimpse of the thin man that ran away, and he found a second one for his troubles. To make matters worse, he was blocked from rocketing it into oblivion by the wall. The newly healed Braun ran forward and found an angle in which he could take the shot, and managed to put down the newly discovered thin man. But there was still one out there. Everyone took cover, hoping to lure it out into the open, and it worked, and it was very soon put down for the count, as more aliens dropped from the skies. Everyone was running low on ammo now, so I told people to reload as Timmermans moved up to get within range of all the gunfire again. The nutter, however, pushed forward, dodging yet more shots like he was the luckiest git alive. Took cover and unloaded his entire pistol clip in the direction of the alien, and I was gobsmacked. It actually worked. Maybe the little pea shooters could be useful after all. The squad moved up to the next two power conduits, ready to turn them off the old fashioned way by using the switches on them. The nutter ran up as everyone was taking cover and took down a conduit. Three down, three to go. The thin man then tried to drop down to surprise the team, but it didn't really work. He got instantly blown to bits by gunfire for most of the squad. It was magical to watch it happen. Morozov deactivated another conduit and got ready with his weapon, suspecting a surprise attack from up the ramp in retaliation for turning the thing off. A little sectoid dropped into play, so the squad sent him some bullets to go play catch with. We carried on moving forward, one member of the squad from each side going up the ramp while the others covered the doors. The last two conduits were in sight. Now the aliens brought out the big guns to help defend. A muton came out to play, and was promptly seriously wounded by a quick long range shotgun shot from the nutter. It was 3v6, we had this. The doors were opened, and Morozov took down the thin man as soon as he could. Timmermans followed this up by sniping the sectoid. This guy was finally being useful. Braun finished off the free for nothing show by filling the muton full of lead. Simple as that, just the power conduits to deal with. Wary of some more traps, the squad carefully approached, guns always at the ready. But nothing else seemed to fall from the sky, and before long the mission was complete. All the conduits were disabled. I didn't see what happened afterwards, but I was told we couldn't keep the battleship, as it was too big to fit in the hangar, which was a little annoying. But at least Mr. No Face Man would be happy, and we had a load of promotions to give out as well. Once that was done, I saw we had quite a haul for the science department, thinking this should keep them busy for a while. And along with another congratulations message from the council, the mission and the day was over. A resounding success. We were starting the fight back, but would it last?